nice and juicy. Hey everybody, I'm Ryan and welcome back to 113 Cycles. Today we're going to talk about brisket. So, I am not an expert at brisket, let's start with that. Uh, so there's a lot I'm not going to show you in here, starting with how to select a brisket. I'm not an expert, go watch some people on how to select it. I have my way, figure out how they do it, that's a better way to do it. I also separate the point and the flat when I cook my brisket. So, again, I'm not very good at that, much less an expert. So go find some videos on how to do that, or cook it all as one and separate it later. That's fine. I like to cook them separate so that I can get them to the correct temperature and pull them out and have them at, at the proper temperature for each one. So that's why I separate. They also seem to cook a little bit quicker for me too, which makes sense with it. So um, seasoning it. I usually do a mustard rub real lightly just to hold the the salt and pepper on. I did not this time and it worked great. So I won't be doing mustard on my brisket anymore because I didn't need it. I do salt and it, season it. Salt and season? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, I season it with kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper and that's it. After I've trimmed all the fat, which I don't show in the video because again, not very good at that. Um, I season it with salt and pepper, flip it over, season it with salt and pepper, let it set for a few minutes just while it gets wet, usually while the smoker is getting up to temperature. Once it's up to temperature, it goes in. In this video, I wrapped the brisket, both parts of it, in butcher paper. I've done it a few different ways. Uh, the butcher paper this time brought just an amazing, hard, crispy crust. So if you're looking for that, try the butcher paper. I've done it in foil most of the time, and it comes out great. You don't get quite that hard crust, so that's what I'll be doing in the future is the butcher paper, because I really like that crust with it. Didn't affect the flavor with it. Uh, just the the crust on it. So also when I pull that brisket out, it sits for at least 30 minutes to kind of let those juices absorb and everything before I start slicing it or pulling it or however I'm doing it. So uh, let's look at my notes here. Yeah, I think we covered everything. So let's get into the video. If you got any questions, let me know down below. I'm probably going to tell you I don't know. So uh, yeah, there we are. Let's get into it. try and do a quick brisket video. We've got our flat over here and our point here. They're separated, covered them in salt and pepper. We're going to use a mix of Jack Daniels uh, smoking barrel chips and mesquite throughout the day with it. This is how we start. Get a disposable aluminum pan big enough to fit that. I don't have one. That one does fit in it. This will just make it easier. This is how I do it. Do it however you want. All right, we've transferred our brisket into our electric smoker. We got a Masterbuilt 30. Since I don't have a pan for the top one, we're gonna put it over the bottom one. There is a lot of fat on the bottom side. I've done it both ways. I don't think it makes a huge difference for me whether I put the fat down or the fat up. There we are, add smoke every hour till it hits 160. Oh yeah, in the pan, apple cider vinegar and water, 240 degrees. All right, we're at one hour. So we're gonna open it up here because we're gonna let some of the steam out. I've got apple cider vinegar. We're gonna give a quick spray here. We're gonna close it up. And we're gonna add more wood because it's been an hour. On to the next hour. All right, another hour. We've got our wood chips. We're gonna put these in. And then we pop it open again. Let that steam out and smoke. See all that steam coming off that pan down there. And we're gonna apple cider vinegar it again. Just need a spritz, not a... That's it, come back in an hour. All right, it's another hour. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna spritz it with apple cider vinegar. We're gonna put more smoke in, except this time, we're gonna open the door so you can see it because really good because now i'm going to put my temperature probes in look at all of that juice in there oh it's gonna be great hopefully we catch a lot of it on there oh but yeah now it's time to put our probes in and see where we're at with the temperature all right probes are in i hope i got a good spot there you want to find the thickest part of the meat definitely got a good spot on there i believe so we're gonna hook those up we'll see where we're at well we're at 174 on one 182 on the other cooking a little bit fast. So I did lower my temperature down to 235, uh, but now we're gonna pull these and we're gonna wrap them in butcher paper. 
All right, they're wrapped in butcher paper. You can also wrap these in foil. Uh, I tried the paper last time, it worked out well. So there's that. We're at 160, I got better probe position. So we've got better temperatures now and uh, we're gonna let this go. All right, as I said, we're at 163, 164, as you can see on the thermometer there. We've got it wrapped in butcher paper, no more smoke, we're done with that. So now all we need to do is wait for it to get up to temp, which is like 200, maybe 205, uh, makes it a little bit tender. That's what we're waiting for now. Other than that, it just sits and runs. All right, it's now 2.30. We are at 164, 174, we're targeting 200. That's when our alarm will go off on here. So we're definitely at the stall and we were at the stall when we put that in, so we got better probe positions positions so we still wait we're just waiting for this to climb this is the point cooked to 205 degrees rested for about a half an hour and there it is oh, and here is the point chopped up the crust came out amazing some of the best crust i've ever had well it's 9 45 at night and i don't know if you can see that but we finally hit 200 degrees on the flat so we're gonna pull it take it in the house all right, here's our flat. It is out. It went up to 200 degrees, as we saw, and it's now 10.30 at night, so however long that took. It's like 12 hours, I guess, something like that. So this is our butcher paper. Flip it over here. Unwrap. I always double wrap the butcher paper or foil, whatever I'm using. I always double wrap. So we're going to flip that. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, look how good that part came out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Very nice. We're gonna transfer it over to there. Still a little bit warm. It's not quite falling apart, so that's good. Got this carving knife I've never used before. It's very slick, so that's probably not a good idea. So our grain's running this way. We wanna cut along it. So we're gonna kinda of turn here. So cutting here, basically like, yeah, basically like that is gonna be against the grain. So. I don't even know if this knife is sharp. It's it's apparently not. And this corner is pretty, pretty tight. Let's go back and get the knife. All right, better knife. Crust is very thick. I've never had that thick of crust before. But look at that meat. Show you that. Nice and juicy and hot. So anyways, that's how we do the brisket. All right, I just thought I'd just show you here. We got both sides cut up. Again, we cut against the grain with it. So our grain was running this way. And we cut it this way. So, and you, like I said, you can see this stuff is just falling apart. I mean, it's just, I did it as slices, but I'm not sure how that's gonna work out because again, and this crust is just, uh, you can't hear that, but man, that is stiff. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Mm. That juice in there, oh, so good. Oh, man. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit, but I mean, that's it, man. That's my brisket. All right, so the last step, is I heated mine up in the microwave a little bit because it was pretty gel. Still kind of gel, but I don't want to make it hot. So basically what you're gonna do is take that juice and just pour it back in. This works good on both the um, point or the flat. I did have a couple more pieces of this since I stopped the video last. It, just, it was hair dry. So I felt like this side would benefit a little bit more from it. From it. So we'll just dump that in there and that's it. And it's ready to eat right now. Uh, this is a little cold, so I would actually have heated that up a little bit more. But, yeah, so now that's going to sit in there, and I can soak up some of that juice and stuff with it. So, there we are. All right, well, I hope this video helps you a little bit. Like I said, this is how I've done it. It works great, comes out excellent for me. I am using the electric smoker, which makes a difference. I'm sure if you have a regular smoker, uh, non-electric, that you might have to do some things different. But overall, it seems pretty consistent on the temperature and the smoke and that kind of stuff with it. So if you've got any questions on anything, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions or tell you I don't know, as that's more common. 
Uh, anyways, thanks again. Appreciate it. Remember to hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. Don't expect a whole lot more cooking because that's not what I do. Uh, but yeah, so uh, like I said, subscribe, share it out to your friends, save it, and use it in the future. So thanks for watching.